So for as long as I can remember in the last 15, 20 years, there's always been rumors of a Star Wars television series. Now, of course, the closest we came to this was in early 2005 when Lucas actually announced that he was on production of a Star Wars TV series. Uh, this would inevitably end up being the cancelled Star Wars Underworld, which of course we recently even learned the news of what that show was about. It was specifically going to be about the underworld and the crime on Coruscant but the main character was actually going to be Palpatine before he gets betrayed and falls to the dark side due to love. And obviously that series was shelved when Disney ended up picking up the rights to Star Wars. So it's one of these things where we're like, okay, if we look at Marvel for example, it took them a number of years before they announced the television series, and now they're ruling television all across every medium. You look at Netflix and some of the highest rated, highest reviewed, and most watched things out there. So it's natural to assume that they're going to be probably producing a Star Wars TV series. Now when we're going to see this honestly, you know, it's probably quite a few years away. Um, Obviously I think ABC would be the clear choice to where to, you know, debut the series. Maybe even Netflix, who really knows. But recently, with the announcement that the Inhumans movie was actually going to become a full-fledged TV series done by IMAX, it got me thinking. Where do you take a Star Wars series as a whole? Like, what do you do with it? Um, and this is kind of one of these things where I start thinking about the Bubba Fett movie, or maybe a Django Fett story, or some, something like that, right? Something that people have been wanting. And you could actually easily turn that into a television series. Uh, you see now how, you know, IMAX is flipping the bill for the Inhumans TV series, and it's going to be the most expensive TV series ever produced. It's really not a shock to think that, hey, if IMAX is to come to, you know, Disney after this deal, once they see this is a success, which it will be, and they go, hey, let's sit down, um, so $100 million, 12 episodes, can we do it? They'll probably agree on it, I mean, 10, 12 episodes, that's the budget of a smaller scale movie, and, uh, well, you know, let's not kid ourselves, television is produced on smaller budgets, like, uh, you know, you have sets that you keep around, not everything has to be CG'd, uh, you know, the story is long form, like you're not using a location like a planet for four or five minutes. You're going to use that location, that planet for like every episode, right? So that that's why Game of Thrones or something is so grand scale, but they can pull it off because they have all these sets and locations. And they don't have to constantly move them, tear everything down. And a lot of it is contained within the same confines of cities and things like that. So if you were to produce a Game of Thrones movie... They would have to shove like five seasons into one movie, right? And then you'd see so many other locations and there'd be such, so much, you know, time spent at each one, like five, ten minutes. It just, you know, the budget for CG would skyrocket because, well, we have to CG everything. What's the point of building a massive, you know, King's Landing when, screw, you could just CG most of it, right? So that's the differences you're getting here. Um, I think Star Wars could be the same thing. And you look at something like Boba Fett, you're like, maybe that's why they canceled the movie. Let's be real, Bubba Fett is a huge character. And what if they're just like, okay, we'll produce a Bubba Fett TV series. It'll happen after Return of Jedi, and we'll set it maybe a year after, and it'll be him, and it'll be his work, and we'll have some flashbacks and all that, and then there you go. It'll debut on IMAX as a movie, the first two episodes. And then, you know, watch the rest on ABC, and I think it could happen. Um, And honestly, I'm hopeful, and I think this could probably happen by as early as 2019. Now, I know a lot of people are going, 2019, it's three years away, but don't forget, it took quite a number of years to get, you know, Marvel on TV. So, you have to make sure you come out with the right foot and not stumble again. And I think they definitely learned from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. they don't want to stumble again.